Blumenblah. Miss Nogard entered the classroom on the thirtieth story. She looked at all the bright and chipper faces. She knew by the end of the day they would no longer be bright and chipper. They would be gloom and blah. She smiled at the class. Good morning, everybody, she said. My name is Miss Nogard. She listened to their brains. Kevin had spilled orange juice on his lap during breakfast and worried that someone might think he had gone to the bathroom in his pants. Dana had gotten her hair cut yesterday and she thought it was too short. She was afraid it made her look like a boy. She was especially sensitive to this because Dana was sometimes a boy's name. Jason was mad at his older brother Justin. Justin was in high school. Justin always got good grades and was a star in everything he did. Compared to Justin, Jason felt like a loser. What's so great about high school? He had asked her this morning. My school is higher than yours. DJ had heard a song on the radio on his way to school. He hated the song but it kept playing over and over again in his head. Bebe had a niche in her leg. Miss Nogard smiled. The bad stuff always rose to the top of the brain. Even if a person was very excited about something wonderful, the person still worried about what could go wrong. Jenny was going horseback riding after school if it didn't rain. She had never gone horseback riding before. She hoped she wouldn't fall off the horse. Miss Nogard clapped her hands. So, who would like to tell me? which you've been working on, she asked. A few hands went up in the air. Ooh, ooh, said Mac. How about the boy in the orange and purple shirt, said Miss Nogard. Everyone looked around. The handsome young man sitting right there, said Miss Nogard. Dana looked at her shirt. It was orange and purple. She pointed at herself and mouthed the word, me? Yes, you, said Miss Nogard. Dana's face turned red hot. I'm a girl, she said. Everyone laughed. Oh, I'm so embarrassed, said Miss Nogard, with her hand over her heart. It's not your fault, said Dana. It's my stupid haircut. I hate it. Oh, no, said Miss Nogard. You look adorable. I see now you're a very pretty girl. I'm ugly, muttered Dana. She buried her head under her arms. I'd better call on someone else, said Miss Nogard. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a brain screamed. Don't call on me. Whatever you do, please don't call on me. It came from Benjamin Nashmat. How about you, said Miss Nogert, looking right at him. Just don't ask my name, thought Benjamin. I never can say my name in front of people. He took a breath to steady himself. Well, we've been reading. First tell me your name, Miss Nogert said sweetly. The muscles in Benjamin's face tightened. He concentrated real hard, then said, Benjamin Nashmat. I beg your pardon, said Miss Nogert. Benjamin Nashmat, he repeated. Henderson Schmidt? asked Miss Nogard. Benjamin sighed. Benjamin Nash Mutt, he shouted. I'm sorry, said Miss Nogard. I must have been distracted. What did you say? Benjamin pressed his lips together. He tried to speak, but his mouth wouldn't open. His name is Benjamin, said Jason. Benjamin Nash Mutt. Thank you, said Miss Nogard. That's a very nice name, Benjamin. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. Benjamin covered his red face with his hands. She turned to Jason. You look familiar. Do I know you? I don't think so, said Jason. She stared at him as if she were trying to remember. You're Justin, right? I'm Jason. Justin's my older brother. So you're Justin's baby brother, said Miss Nogard. Everybody laughed. I remember Justin. I substituted for his class once. He was the brightest student I ever taught. You must feel very lucky to have such an exceptional brother. His feet stink, thought Jason. For the rest of the day, Miss Nogard kept accidentally on purpose calling Jason Justin. One by one, she made every child in the class feel miserable. She called Calvin to her desk and asked in a whisper if he had to use the restroom. Whenever she passed DJ, she hummered the song stuck in his head. Whenever Bebe finally stopped thinking about her itch, Miss Nogard would walk by and scratch her own leg. It looks like it might rain, she said as she stared out of the window at the bright blue sky. Darn, I'll never get to go horseback riding, thought Jenny. I have a nephew who went horseback riding on a day like this, said Miss Nogard. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, it started thundering and lightning. It spooked the horse terribly. What happened to your nephew? asked Jenny. Oh, he's fine, said Miss Nogard. He just broke both his arms and legs. He'll be in a cast for a year. But he has a very positive attitude. That's the important thing. Remember, always keep a positive attitude. By the end of the day, nobody had a positive attitude. The whole class was glum and blah. 
The children walked out of the school, building heads down, except Jenny, who looked up at the sky, worrying about the weather, although she didn't know if she was more worried about rain or sunshine. Even DJ was frowning. What's the matter? asked Louis, the yard teacher. Nothing, muttered DJ. I guess I just had a bad day. Don't you like your new teacher? asked Louis. She's real nice, said Dana. It's not her fault I'm the ugliest girl in the world. I like her a lot, said Jason. It's my brother I hate. Me too, said Benjamin. I hate myself. Louis rubbed his upper lip. His mustache was beginning to grow back. What's her name? he asked. Miss Nogard, said Debbie, as she scratched the back of her leg. Raw. Are you sure? asked Louis. Huh? asked Bebe. I mean, said Louis, are you sure it's Miss Nogard, not Mrs. Nogard? I think, said Bebe. Why? Louis just shrugged.